Hello, and welcome to Turbo Thumbs. I am Rasta Joe, and this is Thumb Through. And we are thumbing through The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're right back where we left off. I mean, the face dungeon, face shrine, whatever it is. And kill these guys so they don't get in the way. And I gotta open this door by throwing a uh, statue in. Hold on one sec. Okay. Alright. So here we got that. You got a hundred rupees. You're happy. So I'll come back to these horse heads laying here in just a moment. First I wanna pop up here and get this. You found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, something good is bound to happen. Okay, we have 20 seashells, but I'm not gonna get the sword just yet. Level 6 Space Shrine. The reason being that I would have to go all the way back through the dungeon back to this point if I did that. But, so here's the puzzle with these horse heads. They're knights, like from chess. What you have to do with them is get them to land standing up. Just like that. Now, as far as I know, there's no trick to it. But I used to just grab them and throw them in a corner like this. Over and over. Actually, I think I used this dude on the stairs. Hmm, now that I'm thinking about it, I think there was some trick that would make them land face up every time. But I don't remember what it was. They just have to bounce the same way. Huh. Anyway. Let's take a look at the map here. So two down. There's a chest. Uno dos. There's a chest here. Times there is. I'm just gonna have to kill all these guys. So let's do this. Boom. He did. And he did. Ah, oh, shit. I got plenty of arrows. Ah! Son of a beach. Ah! Oh. Got him. There's the map. At last, you got a map. Press the start button to look at it. Okay. So, I need to get over to those other two. Hmm. Wish I could remember this dungeon better. Problem is, I never really liked it all that much. Gotta go back. Leave a bomb. That ought to do it. The story I wanted to tell this time. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so that's what it is. So the story I want to tell this time is my greatest victory in Super Smash Bros. I'm sure you're all just begging to hear. Anyway. Back 
when I lived with my parents. I was hanging out with Chef Drew a lot. As you may have heard me tell stories about him several times now. And so one time, I was over at his house, and uh, this was when Brawl, uh, I think it was toward the time Brawl first came out. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, that is. And anyway, get to your side. I uh, went over to his house one day, and we're playing Brawl. And his brother, Joe, who now is like amazing at uh, Melee, he was there, and he, uh, I was always kind of cocky about my skills in Brawl, but, uh, this one particular time, I hadn't played Joe in a long time, but, uh, we started playing, and, uh, I was playing as Wolf, and he was Falco, and, oh shit. Damn it, I need to get over there. I think I have to go down some stairs. Uh, but anyway, so I was Wolf, who was definitely my best character in Brawl. I miss him dearly. And he was Falco, and uh, we were on. I think it was Corneria? Or maybe Final D, one of those two, I'm pretty sure. But uh, we were pretty neck and neck, and then he started getting this, uh, I think it was down throw to down air combo on me over and over, and like there was just no way out of it. Uh, once he got you in it, you're just stuck. Because it just kind of exploited uh, the rules of Brawl, where you uh, could grab somebody repeatedly super fast like that. Oh, and now the statue has no head. So anyway, he's got me pretty much locked in that combo. Uh, but... Um, I remember I said something like, oh, you, you can't beat me without that one combo or whatever, or something like that. And so, he, he stopped using it for a little bit, and by that time, I think he had taken the lead. So he stopped using the combo, and made a bit of a comeback, and we got down to where it was one stock, one stock. And he, I guess he decided he didn't care, and he started doing the combo again, and uh, he got me off the stage. Oh, God damn it. Fuck you, shy guy. He got me off the stage, and, like, everything at that point kind of went into slow-mo, you know, when you're in, like, dire situation. So he stomps me off the stage, and it was last stock for both of us, like I said. And so he's, uh, like I said, Falco down doing a down air on me, and I'm he stomps me. I was at pretty high damage, I think, and I'm just plummeting down, down, and I I'm off the screen. And I'm just hammering up B, hoping against hope that it'll save me. And I mean just like tapping it, like, wasn't using the turbo thumb, but might as well have been. Just hammering on it, hammering on that B button so fast. And I'm off the, I'm, like I said, I'm off the screen, I'm off the bottom of the screen. And, uh, 
He's just following me down. And I'm in that little that little circle that it would put you in. You know, when you're off screen to show that you're still alive, but you're off the screen and taking damage and whatever. That put me... Son of a bitch. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I don't remember. So anyway, I'm off the screen, and I'm hammering that up B button, and I'm pretty sure I'm dead. And so is Joe, because he's he's just following me down. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, here comes Wolf, rocketing up from the bottom of the screen. Against all odds, I catch Falco in that up B kick, because that kick will catch someone and drag them along. I catch him, and it's pushing him up, up, up. We're going up. We're right under the ledge of the stage. And when Wolf's up B ends, it goes to a kick where he just kicks the other person away. Oh, Jesus. Enter the space where the eyes have walls. Fantastic. I know what he's talking about, but that doesn't help me now. So we rock it up, and then I it goes into the kick kicks Falco into the bottom of the stage, he bounces off, Wolf falls, because you can't move after your up after your, uh, B, and Falco dies right before Wolf, a barely scraped by victory for old Rasta Joe. Couldn't even believe it had happened. I, I w wish I had the replay, because, I mean... You just, you hardly ever see a finish like that. It's so amazing when it ha when it does happen. Ah, like, proudest moment in Smash of my life, just about. Except for winning the, the, the tournament that I had one time. I'd tell you to go watch it now, but I just told you that I won, so it probably wouldn't be as exciting. But hey, if you want to watch anyway, it's uh, Black Friday Beatdown. Just check out Turbo Thumbs for that. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> okay, I think I want to go here. Oh no. Shit. Damn it, where the hell am I supposed to be going in this fucking place? I'll be honest, I'm totally lost. Been way too long since I played this game. I'm just lost, Zilla. But hey, at least we're playing Zelda. That's all that really matters. Isn't Zelda a great fucking series? I mean, seriously. Is there any more? sense of adventure you can feel from a game or a series. If there is one, I haven't played it. Damn it. Where the hell? Where am I supposed to be fucking going? Hmm. Other side of the dungeon. I think there's. Hmm. I think there's another underground stairway dealy. Let me check there. Yes. Yes. This is right. Okay. Let me do bombs real quick. But this is definitely where I'm supposed to be. It's under one of these statues. There it is. Yes. Okay. Just gotta kill these dudes real quick. There we go. Oop. Nice how they put that ladder there for you to 
catch yourself after the jump so you don't accidentally jump down into the... Oh, fuck. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Ow. Too late! I heard again. Oh, man, I lost my piece of power or whatever it was. Hey, I'll take that. How many keys do I have now? Two. Okay. This was definitely the place I was supposed to go. Oh, shit. Uh. Okay, I think I have to get all the enemies to fall in there to open the doors here. One more. Yes. I think I can kill that black hole thing. I'll really try. But, I don't need to. Boom. How did that eye guy see me? That was weird. Eh. He shoots green dot lasers. Well, there's the boss room, but I definitely don't have the boss key yet. Alright, so I gotta go that other way. Excuse me. Hey, alright. And I get to kill these guys again. I wonder if there's a name for that black hole thing. But, well, I killed the black hole. Bonk. I mean, is it even an enemy? It didn't have to die for me to get out of that room. But... It is something killable. Hard to say. What is an enemy, anyway? What makes an enemy? Should we get philosophical for three minutes? Hmm. Okay, I remember doing this. I always throw them like that. That's what it is. I always corner myself so that my throw is always the same. But that doesn't seem to be working here. There we go. Took a few tries, but I did it. And it's a hell of a lot better than just throwing randomly and hoping that they land right. Ah. Mini. Cyclowomps. Cyclowomps. Cyclowomps? Would that be what they're called? They get pissed when I show up. Other than that, they're pretty chill. Ah! Pulls voices. And now that we have the ocarina, I'll play the song that, uh... I got off camera. Sorry you guys had to miss that back two or three episodes ago, but... Listen closely, this is the mini version of that song. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe it has to be this one? Oh, of course, of course that song wouldn't work. It livens things up. That's, uh, what it said. It can even liven up unliving things. Ooh, foreshadowing as to what you should do with it. Alright, so. Go up this way. And. Uh, I gotta do a lot of item switching. Get through this one. Especially if I want those bombs, too. And I do. Oh no, wait, I have 30 bombs. No sense in getting more. Uh, at least gotta kill that guy. Uh, this dungeon is probably the one I like the least. You got 200 rupees. You're ecstatic. Okay. So if I throw the other one. Why 
Why did it bounce differently in the same spot? It should bounce the same. Thank you. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Leave me alone, priest. Okay. Let's do that. Aha. Now there'll be less switching. There we are. I'm going down this way, I know he's gonna put me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Actually, I'm gonna do this little combo. Uh-oh. Try to chuck it right in the mouth. It's weird how they turn green. And they have a bomb in them. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You thought it would you thought you would get me, but it is I who got you. Now. Ugh. There you go. I gave him two already. Well. There's the last one anyway. We'll switch back to sword. Boomerang combo. And immediately I have to switch to the hook shot. Like the one thing that the, the hook shot does that the boomerang doesn't do. Take you to other places. Like get you across gaps or however you want to say it. I think this is the boss key. And get all these out of the way. There's anything under any of them, so screw it. To open a treasure chest, use the pots around it. Oh. Well, it's a good thing I didn't throw them all then. <laughs> You've got the nightmare's key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Huh, I wonder why that switch is there. There's no blocks in the way. I don't know. Just kind of a mystery, I guess. Boom, boom. And let me hear you say, wayo. You nerf herder. And we gotta do this to these guys. Oh, hey, Rao. Boom. Boom. Alright, now we can escape this room. Let's look back to that. Need arrows? Eh, sure. Why not? How many did that give me? About ten. Alright. So now we're ready to take on the boss, but we've gone over time, so we'll end it here and finish up this dungeon next time. Okay, so that's it for this time. Don't worry, we'll fight the boss uh, next time. But uh, for now, if you like what you've seen here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. You can also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash turbothumbs or on Twitter at twitter.com slash turbo underscore thumbs. That's it for this time on Thumb Through. I have been Rasta Joe, and thank you for checking out Turbo Thumbs.